right guys, welcome back to Strong Successful Mail. So for today in the Ask SSM video series, got an email from a subscriber. This guy is 35 years old, he's from over in India, and he's writing in asking my advice about the whole work-life balance type of situation. You see, this guy's been, uh, he's married, he's been busting his tail at his job for a while, and recently he had a uh, health scare, a near-death situation, and now he's reevaluating his life, realizing that he works too much, he wants to scale back a bit so he can actually have time for himself, that's not always the grind, and uh, that way it doesn't have a negative impact on his health. You know, taking a job that's a little bit less money, but he has more time to himself, his wife, and all that. And But he's questioning whether that's the right decision, he has... Half his family saying that's a good idea and support it. And he has the other half that says it's a bad idea and you should keep pushing forward, that type of thing. So he wanted to know what I thought. And I thought it would be a very good one to go over here because I know a lot of you guys in varying degrees are trying to better your lives. You're trying to really make something of yourself. And I get how tempting it can be when you're very motivated and you finally found out what you want to achieve to just go balls to the wall with that and let everything, you know, go to the wayside. And it's a bad idea. And it's very important to have time for you, rest time, proper rest, time to exercise, a day off, uh, eating health, that type of thing. And obviously time for your friends and family. So I'm going to go over this one and give him a little help here. And hopefully we can help him make the right decision. So it says here, hello, SSM. I hope Florida is treating you well. It's great. Four to six weeks, the hurricane season is over. Uh, I've been watching your videos for two years now. I'm 35 from the land of Bollywood. I'm happily married with my wife, who I dated for eight years before tying the knot back in 2018. Very smart, bro. You are light years ahead of your countrymen because a lot of guys from the land of Bollywood have a reputation for being not very sharp with the ladies. And in the past two years, I've been using some of your lessons that you share in my personal life. Some examples include I've cut off all of my toxic friends out of my life for good. Wonderful. Good for you. I've also been able to establish boundaries with my wife on what is acceptable to me and what is not. One example of which is at the start of last year, I left her at the mall and drove home when she shouted at me for being interested in a shirt. A few days later, she apologized and bought that shirt for me as an apology gift. Over a shirt? Either that shirt was super expensive and it was beyond the budget, or it was the most ugliest piece of crap ever, and she's like, oh, hell no, I'm not going to be seeing my husband wearing that piece of shit. Uh, why, why don't you send me a picture of this shirt? I want to know what this shirt looks like. But anyhow, good for you for not taking any crap. But I've told you before, when we start yelling and screaming at you in public, in public, you walk, leave her ass there. Who cares? You can take the bus home. Whatever. If she wants to, if you, she wants to yell at you in the house, that's bad enough. Instead of communicating like an adult, but at least it's in the house, and nobody listening in, you know. But out in public, hell no. I also have a, a ritual with my friends where once a month we get together on Saturday evening and put your videos on and do the SSM drinking game. Oh God! That normally has them fully wasted by stick to water or club soda for reasons that I'll come back on later. Here are the rules. All right, he's going to do the SSM drinking game rules. I'll read this because you guys are probably wanting to hear this, and then I'll get to the main part of the story. He says, the rules are take a sip or a shot of your choice of poison when SSM says one of the following. SSM complaining about the sirens. SSM saying, you know what, in that tone. Any sausage references, spelling out W-H-O-R-E. References to the Hobag handbook saying women love drama or chatter Tyrone. Three shots or bottoms up whenever you hear smack. Okay, so I don't know how you're not all plastered by the end of the uh, video. Ha ha, very funny, but that's, that's yeah, that's funny. Uh, last weekend, we went through all parts of the three guys who are divorcing their wives and rooting for their success and all this. So here's the reason I'm writing to you. Ever since I cleared high school, I've always wanted to become a chartered accountant, or what you call a CPA in the United States and become an ex- executive at one of my t- the top consulting firms. It took me seven years, including failing my exam, multiple times to finally become a chartered accountant, and almost seven years more to become a manager back in almost two years ago. Okay, you're a guy that doesn't give up. You failed a couple times, but you kept pushing forward. Good for you. However, something also happened around that time. I just, uh, just a month around the end of 2021, I suffered a near-death experience from a hemorrhage and barely survived that incident. Holy shit, dude. Because the impact was on my brain, it took me over a year for a full recovery. 
In the first six months, it was difficult to even get out of a chair, and part of my body, especially my right hand, kept going numb. During that time, I scaled back on work to focus on myself and my health, something I wasn't able to do during the entire period of my career. I joined the gym, lost some weight, and still have ways to go, but I'm determined. Then you'll get there, man. Keep pushing for. I'm glad. A lot of people make big changes when they have a health scare or a major health emergency or something or near death type of situation. It, it usually takes that. That's why you often see more women in the gyms that are in their 20s and 30s and early 40s. And then usually around the 40s and definitely 50s, that's when you start seeing a lot of guys in gyms in the, the ratio of women their age because usually that's when they've had a health scare or the wife says, I don't want you to die and leave me alone here with the freaking kids so get your ass to the fucking gym. As a, tr as a former trainer, I know this very well. However, now I've adjusted to a new normal, which includes me focusing on myself first and my work later. Also, because I have achieved what I set out to do nearly 20 years ago, I'm now struggling to find motivation to work for a demanding company, which pays well. And I'm looking to settle for a lower pay in exchange for some peace of mind and a work-life balance, which was non-existent in my life before my near-death experience. I also realized that before all this, I rarely had any hobbies except for cooking on weekends because I would be burning myself through the day and resting and recovering all weekend. I currently earn the equivalent, I'm not going to say what he earns, but thanks to purchasing Power Parity, it's close to getting six-figure salary here over in India. Currently, my job demands up to 12 hours a day, even though we get a monthly fixed compensation based on an eight-hour workday. There we go with the sirens. There you go. Have a shot, dude. Oh, for goodness sake. I'm going to pause it. Okay, I'm back. It says, however, my family is divided on my decision. My father and wife support me, but my mother and rest of my family is trying to convince me to change my mind. In other words, they want you to go back doing the same thing you did before, which probably helped cause the big health scare and hemorrhage that you had. Yeah, that's a great idea. Uh, I'm trying to convince me to change my mind. I'm open to a role if it can provide me a work-life balance without denting my pay. However, such roles are few and far between. While my father wants me to do what's best for, for me, my wife is okay with me considering change, and she also has a job. Though she earns only one-sixth of what I do, but she's very wise with money, and according to her, I've been able to spend more time with her during this period than I have during the entire length of our marriage. Okay, obviously, aside from her throwing a temper tantrum and yelling at you at the mall for buying that shirt, and I still want to know what this shirt looks like, she obviously cares about you and is enjoying spending time with you. You didn't mention if you have any kids. I didn't hear anything about that. So I'm asking you here, am I wrong in considering a change in jobs if it means I can invest time myself and focus on myself for the next few years while I figure out my next step and what, is, what I want to do in life? Even though it may cost me my earnings or it is a uh, better choice to continue with what I'm currently doing with my head down and keeping grinding at work to get ahead in the same or different organization, all of which have a similar work culture which comes with higher pay but equally more stress. It's okay if you do not have an answer, but I wanted to get a fresh perspective on my situation. Keep doing what you do. Hope you keep inspiring more people. Regards. Well, bro, you need to do what you want to do. It shouldn't matter what your mom and the rest of your family has to say. I'm, I'm very happy to hear that your wife is on board with you taking a different job where you're making less money and you have more time for yourself and her and all that. That's good. You don't need any fucking drama because if she was like, no way, that would tell me a lot about her. And, but here's the thing. I want you to do what's best for you and your health so you can live a long, good life. But if you're going to take a different job, make sure what you're going to get paid along with what your wife makes will most certainly take care of all your bills as well as extra money every month you can put aside and invest for your future. That is key. And I also say this, before you do this, I would make sure you have a good, solid emergency fund because as you are well aware from that situation, emergencies happen where you can't work for a while and you need that money there to take care of things or any other type of fiasco that can come your way. Have the emergency fund. So if you've gotten a good emergency fund and uh, you can take a lower paying job, but again, make sure you have enough money left every month to invest. Because if you're just getting by paycheck to paycheck, that's not going to be very nice. And your wife ain't going to like that after a while. But again, if she's on board with this, and that's all should matter. you know, Because she is your wife, and it sounds like you got a good thing with her, except for her temper tantrum over the fucking shirt at the mall. Or the bazaar, or wherever you go fucking shopping in India. I, I, I can't help myself. But anyhow, so um, there you go. And that, that's key. And then... 
keep going to the gym, keep exercising, eat healthy. That's key. You know what I mean? Eat well. If your diet, if you work out at the gym regularly, but you eat like shit, that's got to change. Okay. And then you'll be a lot more happier, productive and rest. Make sure you get good night's sleep and all that. But, uh, and I got to stress this guys, this is so important here. Like I said in the beginning, a lot of people, they really, they're on their grind. They want to bust their butt, and I'm all for that. If there's something you're trying to achieve in life, if you have a business you started or it's a side business you want to become full-time, or you're trying to move up in your company, you're very ambitious, it's very easy to start letting everything go to the wayside, giving up on exercise, reducing the hours of sleep you get, um, the stress you have causing you to drink or do drugs or eat like crap, you stop eating good healthy meals because you need a quick meal, you start gaining weight. And what happens to a lot of people is they'll spend all these years chasing money and sacrificing their health, and then they finally get to a point where they have success and money, and then their health goes to shit, and then they spend the rest of their lives spending all their money trying to fix their health that they sacrificed to get money. So you gotta have a balance, you know, and I, I can't stress that enough. For me personally, I what I do on YouTube isn't the only thing I do. Okay, I work very hard in my businesses. I love what I do, so it's not work for me. However, I, no matter what, always make time to hit the gym four days a week. Two days for lower body, two days for upper body, okay, and, and some cardio after. I also cook my meals. I eat healthy and all that. I could sacrifice some of that time to do more videos, but I already do a lot of goddamn videos for the three channels I have. And I always make sure that one day a week I take off. That's usually Saturday. I'll publish videos on Saturday, but that's usually videos I've already recorded earlier in the week. I'll upload them to YouTube, and all I have to do is sit on my ass on the couch on my phone, because there's a good YouTube app for content creators, and pick the title and, and the picture and upload it, and off we go. One day a week to rest, and I feel re re rejuvenated the next morning, because I love what I do, but not every day do I feel like being in front of the camera. I'm sure you guys could probably relate. You know, just some days you wake up on the wrong side of the bed or it's really fucking hot here in Florida. Although I survived the summer, so I can survive anything now. And uh, I would say every six to eight weeks, I take like a long week and mini vacation to my, for myself. I was up in Georgia at the very end of July for a friend's 50th birthday party for a few days. Never been there before. I was in uh, Savannah, Georgia. And I had a good time. And then back to the grind. And I have other things I do. So I have a, a good balance here. But uh, if I didn't do that, I'd burn out. And next thing you know, you see my face puffing up because I'm putting on weight and not, and losing muscle mass. And all. that's not fun. So that, that's it's, that, I could make more videos. I could dedicate more time to my other things I do and make more money. But to me, I'd rather make a little bit less and have more time for me. And I wasn't always like that. I've had times in my life where other businesses I had, especially one I had when I was in my 20s, I let my health go to shit. I put on like 20 fucking pounds. I stopped lifting in the gym, eating like crap. My business was thriving. I was feeling great. This is my mid 20s. But I let my health go to shit. And I mean, I, and one day I look in the mirror, I was like, what the fuck? So I scaled back and developed a balance then, and I've been happy ever since. So that's, I, I think you need to do what's best for you. And definitely, if it means taking the job you make less, then do that. But again, make sure all you have all your finances in order before you make that change and make sure you have a good solid plan. You said your wife is good with money. Good, because most women are bad with money. Most of them piss it away on BS. So she's not like that. You got a good one. So that's what I think. And, and, and regardless of the whatever your family and extended family say, aside from your dad, it's not their fucking business. It's not your life. I get in your culture from what I've heard that uh, the uh, family is obviously very important and, you know, there's issues putting shame on the family or some silliness like that. Take care of you. Take take something from the West over here. Put yourself first. And it sounds like you've been doing a pretty good job of that. So I wish you all the best, brother. And I think it's the right decision. And keep persevering. Keep pushing yourself in a healthy manner, of course. And hopefully you can get back a lot of the functions you had. And you're going to be okay. And I'm glad to hear your wife is still with you and supporting you and all that. You know, I think you said she's okay with that. Well, make sure she's more than okay. You know, make sure that, you know, oftentimes the word okay can be equivalent to a woman saying fine. When a woman says something's fine, it ain't fine. So make sure absolutely. And, and here's the thing. Even if she isn't okay with it, tough shit, tough shit. You got to take care of you. She can work. She can get something, a better paying job, but just. Be careful in that regard and keep an eye on her. That no resentment is building up there. But I think you've watched the channel enough. You'll know how to handle it because you left your ass at the mall when you wanted to buy that shirt and you saw, and she knows not to piss you off or mess with you. So, 
All right, guys, that's it for today. Be sure to comment down below. Let me know what you think about this. Guys, if you've been in a situation like this where you've been on the grind busting your tail and you had a health scare or realized one day, I got to scale back, uh, let's hear about it in the comment section. Let this guy know things you did, things you changed. Let him know if it made your life better, what was better, what was worse. But this type of thing. Because this is a video a lot of guys are more on the self-improvement side are going to watch and listen to to hopefully help them out. And your input will definitely help the guys, you know, figure out a good idea how to handle their personal situation. And if you like the video, share it with your friends and subscribe. I'll catch you next time.